Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss why ratio of male to female in human population is not one. So ratio, you know that ratio should be one, but actually it is not. So in case of humans, we know there are two sexes, male and female. Male is heterogametic that means it produces two type of gamete 50 percent it will produce y gamete and 50 percent it will produce x gamete so it is heterogametic but female is homogametic all the gamete that are produced by female will have x chromosome so this x chromosome the gamete that carries x chromosome and gamete that carries y chromosome they are equally viable And also they has equal capacity to fertilize the egg and both sexes male and female both the sexes Bo embryo of both the sexes, male and female, are equally viable. So we have three conditions now. Both gametes, X and Y, equally viable. And both have same capacity or capability to fertilize the egg. And male and female embryo during development are equally viable. So all these conditions are the same. That means ratio should be one ratio one. Ratio should be this. And how this ratio is determined? There may be a primary sex ratio or secondary sex ratio. In case of primary sex ratio, it is determined that how many male and female are conceived in the human population. In case of secondary sex ratio, it is determined that how many male and female are born in a human population. So it is very easy to determine secondary sex ratio because in case of primary sex ratio, we can't determine how many uh, male and female are conceived because there are cases of abortion and also many other situations. So we can't easily figure out uh, primary sex ratio, but we can easily determine secondary sex ratio. That is how many male and female are born in a human population. So, the secondary sex ratio when determined across the world, it is found that ratio is not one ratio one. More male are found than female. Ratio of male are more than female in second uh, secondary sex ratio determination. It was found that ratio is more than one means more male are there in population. Why it is so? According to this situation, it should be this, but it is not more male are found. So from this this determination, we can conclude or we can draw two conclusions. First is female during embryonic development has more mortality during embryonic development the embryo that is female has more mortality rate than male it is first conclusion but after a study it was found that mortality is more in males embryo that has sex male has more mortality than female so this hypothesis is rejected second hypothesis that can be drawn from this ratio is you know that gamete there are two type of gametes so this is male gamete okay this is also a male gamete one gamete has y chromosome and another gamete has x chromosome and 
this X chromosome is larger in size than Y chromosome. So this Y chromosome has less mass. That means it has more, more uh, mobility. That, it, that means it is more motile. And it is the gamete that has X chromosome is less motile. Why it is less motile? Because it has larger chromosome that is X chromosome. So more it is motile, more is the chance to fertilize the egg. That's why ratio of male is more in, in comparison to female. Why it is so? Because Y chromosome is smaller than X chromosome. So it has less mass. If it has less mass, that means it is more motile. So more is the motility, more is the chance to reach to the egg and to fertilize egg. That's why though. So this might be the reason that why male are more than female in human population.